Well, thank you very much. Um, as you said, Quantum is a pretty well-known name. Uh, we have definitely transform and transforming the company as we go forward. Um, we're very excited to be here. Thank, thank you for the invite and the time to present to kind of the world of what we're doing. Um, and um, my role at Quantum, I'm the GM of primary storage. I'm actually fairly new to Quantum myself. I've been here about eight months. Um, and uh, part of the reason why I'm here is that, you know, Quantum, you know, traditionally has a very long legacy in storage with, you know, things like disk drives um, and tape drives. And, uh, you know, that, that was the old Quantum. And the new Quantum is really, you know, quite an amazing company. And the, the path that we're going down um, is really, really encouraging and really exciting for people um, to be paying attention to. So for those of you who know Quantum or don't know Quantum, you know, we've been in business for 40 years, kind of said that, um, you know, started off in the disk drive business and the tape drive business. Uh, about 20 years ago, a file system called Stornext was kind of birthed. Um, and Stornext is a pretty amazing file system in that it's very fast. It's very good at handling unstructured data. Um, and it's one of the fastest file systems on the world when it comes to handling unstructured data. Um, the combination of, of Stornext as a file system and the tape backend um, to, to store that long-term data has been a really, you know, a lot of us get into a lot of customers, a lot of household names, you know, all of the people you can mention in the video and entertainment business are running on Quantum. Uh, it's quite a long and impressive list. Got about 30,000 customers around the world. Um, and right now we're over 44 exabytes of data stored on Quantum. Um, you know, every, like I said, every, everywhere and everything you can imagine in the video industry is stored on Quantum. Uh, you know, you guys know this, but, you know, data is really still exploding. Um, autonomous vehicles, you know, 4K, 8K, HD, you know, all the sports and entertainment, you know, just the amount of data that's being created is just an amazing amount of data, and it's continuing to grow at a vast rate. Um, it really does still pose great opportunity for us, um, just because the fact that we own end-to-end -end workflows in this environment. Um, if you look at where we are, some things that have changed over the past couple of years, um, and some things that are really noteworthy. Um, you know, the customers that we sell to and the people and the markets we sell to, the data that they are creating is their assets. It's the most valuable thing they own, right? You know, if you think about the, the Disney's and the vaults and how much IP they have and what the value of that is to them and, you know, all the studios and all that, you know, you look today at the, all the sports arenas and people or sports teams where they're keeping their data forever, they're replaying that data today. Um, you know, they want to keep it forever. Um, it's the most valuable thing they own. And I think the biggest change in our environment is now is it wants to live everywhere. Um, people no longer want to keep an asset in a building. They they want to do work in L.A. They want to leverage resources in Vancouver. Um, you know, they want to be able to move data and follow the sun. They want to basically have the ability to move data where the work needs to be done or where they want it to be viewed. So, you know, where it lives, how long you keep it there, and the value of that data is really kind of just, those are all coming together. And, you know, how do we make that data transportable? How do we move it from place to place is kind of the big challenge of the future. Um, and that's something that we are focused on as a company and kind of where we are going. One of the things that Quantum does do that is that is a lot of people don't recognize is that we really are one of the few companies in the world that own assets that really can basically store data from the very beginning of its content. So we can create data on the edge appliances. We have autonomous vehicle appliances. Um, we have Stornex, which is a file system that a, you know, 4 and 8K comes into. Um, so we set at the very beginning of that workflow, and then we can store data all the way through the end of its life cycle, right? We can store it to tape, we can store it to an object store, uh, we have a new file system called ATFS, which kind of sits in the middle. Um, but the fundamental difference between us and all of our competitors is we own all these assets. So as we look to go solve the problem of making data transportable over time, you know, we have a lot of the infrastructure in place today to allow that to happen, right? We have an active scale product, which you're going to hear more about today, which allows us to distribute data from site to site and protect that data in, in, a, in the best way possible on spinning drives. You know, we have tape drives, which you can basically you know, do air gap between to protect your data. You can make multiple copies of it. It's still the cheapest way to store data long term uh, in the world from a power consumption, from an air gap, from protection security. So you know, one of the things that really does attract me to Quantum um, is the fact that we own all these assets. 
And there's only like one other company in the world that can actually solve this problem with their own IP. If you look at our product portfolio, kind of walk through this a little bit, but you know, Storenext is where our, we just released our 7.0 version of Storenext. Um, it is available, um, you know, both at a software only and a hardware appliance. Um, so that's, that's, we've always had a Storenext kind of roll your own, but now we actually have a Storenext um, that you can basically buy a software only. Uh, streaming video, 4K, you know, H, the HSM, the tape management side of that, um, that's what Storenext does really well. Um, again, we're in every media and entertainment outlet in the world, pretty much. Uh, we pretty we own that market is where, where we are the leader. Um, the ATFS is a new product. Um, for those of you who've ever heard of a company called Atavium, it's actually where I came from. Um, it's focused on, you know, classification of data. Uh, so as data becomes important, as we want to understand data and how it's actually and how we move it, you have to classify. You have to know what it is in order to do that. Um, so that's a new piece that'll come to the puzzle for us. Um, then we have active scale, again, about resiliency. I want to protect my data. I want to keep it long term. I want to be able to, you know, replace my hardware and, and be able to do this very seamlessly. Um, you know, active scale is a great solution for that. Um, it, it, it built is built for scale. I mean, it can it can do hundreds of terabytes or hundreds of petabytes very easily. Uh, you have DXI, which is about you know protection and decrypt, encryption, or sorry, and dedupe. Um, really be able to keep your data long term, and then we have the large scale tape libraries um, that we that are we're, we're well known for. Um, <clears throat> I will. Have, we have one slide um, because the ATFS platform is new. Um, you know, one thing we want to do is basically make sure people understand that th these products really work together. Um, you know, Stornext. Again, it has the tape interface. It's how we get to tape. Um, it has that really fast 4K. And the ATFS platform is really, again, about classification. So fundamentally, the way things are going to work in the new world is, you know, data is going to be ingested. It's going to be classified. You're going to know who created it, what project is it for, um, you know, how important is it to my business. And then based on that classification, you're going to have policy engines that move data from place to place. And one of the things that we will place data to is things like Stornex. Hey, I need to run you know, this 8K workload, um, streaming workload, and I need to put it in a very fast all flash array, um, which Quantum has. And so the ability to move data back and forth and the ability to have policies in place that move data around is really where that's focused on. Um, and so they, they very sit in very different markets. Um, they sit in they sit in they sit in the same space, but very different solutions to the problems that they're solving. And then I'll show this kind of where we're going from the cloud perspective. And what people you know realize is that hey, look, the cloud is a big part of our workflow, especially in in our space where you know you look at COVID and the impact COVID had on you know people wanting to work from home and how to get them assets right. So if you look at where we came from, you know, tiering to the cloud was something that everyone had to do, right? I've got this data, it might be snapshots, it might be replications, it might be whatever I want to be able to do that to the cloud. Um, and that's cl clearly moving from, hey, I now, now I need to be able to extend my workflow to the cloud. So I want to be able to move a piece of data, spin up an instance of a store next, um, run it in the cloud, run my workload in the cloud. Um, and then eventually, or as we're going forward, you know, everything will run in the cloud. So, you know, I can do a, a scale out store next full run in the cloud. I can get real good performance there. Um, so then whatever workload you want to run on prem or in cloud now looks the same. Um, but I think the exciting thing for us is really the ability to start moving that data globally. And if, again, what I said in the beginning was, you know, understanding the data, having the knowledge of the data, having the ability to add extra, you know, we'll call them tags or metadata onto files that actually identify what that is even further is really important. And it's where we're going as a company. And the global view is, look, I need to be able to put an asset in Australia. I need to be able to put an asset in Vancouver. Um, I need to have, you know, artist Betty wants to work on, you know, these two scenes of a movie. I need to give the, that, that person access to that data or I want to work on a genome project. The ability to, to to really understand 
down to a very granular level what your data is, giving people access to it, and then allowing that access to be anywhere in the world is really important. And uh, so fundamentally, that's where we're going. Um, and that's, uh, it's, it's kind of exciting for us because it's a challenge that's never been solved. It is a big vision that we have. Um, the good news is we have all the parts to do this. Um, and we have a lot of really good technologists that know how to solve the kind of the rest of this part moving forward.